okay so hi guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm just coming back from class and also recording another video um which will be uploaded after this one has been uploaded yes so i wanted to merge them together but the thing is the the video was actually getting to like 14 minutes i'm like me boo when you're not watching cinema movie so i was like <laughs> so i was like let me just do this separate and upload it first because i've missed you guys today was my last day of exam <laughs> and i was like you know what i'm going to have to do a video for my youtube fan because i've missed you guys i won't lie i've missed recording i've missed talking to the camera i've missed it i've missed it it's already in my blood actually <laughs> so yes this video is basically a story time on how my first year at Babcock was and you know what went down i'll be eating as i'm you know it's like a mukbang kind of thing if you know what mukbang is mukbang is like an eating video where people like eat some people use it for asmr purpose like the sound gives them pleasure like me and they watch that thing because the sound they make me calm down but yeah i'm not really focused on the sound today i'm just going to be eating i'm going to be eating back of food actually jollof rice and boiled egg and um i'll just be giving you the tea on like real raw fact like raw truth on how I found myself at Babcock 100 level in 2018, October 16th, I'm 17th, yes, how I found myself at Babcock, what made me come here, how I came here, you know, what transpired, yes, and um, I hope you like this video, please let me know if you missed me or me, I miss you guys, and oh my god, the amazing subscribers that I see every day, ah, uh kilo -uh, day, you guys love me this much. So yes, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're an old subscriber, a returning subscriber, my cousin, OG, Afa, Ayo, Dede, Go, that kind of thing. So yeah. Um, exams have been nice so far. I have eye bags, so my eye bags are Gucci. Because very soon we're gonna be swimming in money. <laughs> so yes, um exams have been great so far i've not slept properly so i might actually use the next day tomorrow to actually sleep that is if i'm not that busy and edit the video that is coming up the video that is coming up next is a hectic day in my life so yes this video was recorded the hectic day in my life was recorded today so yeah but it's too long so i have to take my time to edit it so i'm just going to put this shorter clip of my story time out for you guys today for you guys to watch it today so yeah let's just get into it so let me get my food so um my story time will be about how on my first time at Babcock yes like my fresher year at Babcock and how I found myself here at Babcock so um I entered Babcock when I was 17 yes 17 apparently and um, that was in October yes so I had already turned 17 um Babcock wasn't my dream school at all like if you had told me then like years back that i would be a bad student i'll be like huh are you mad where is that coming from and it wouldn't sound right i'll be like where's the money coming from like dang i'm the first child and i still have like two siblings so where's that money coming from so yeah um i apparently started with unilag started processing admissions i wanted to study cell biology and genetics in unilag I had started that um, I wrote WIAC twice because first the first WIAC I wrote in secondary school the um, result for physics misplaced they said I was absent for the exam and I was present for the exam so the food is just there I mean you can cook better at home but it's just there it's not bad but it's just there so yeah, um, so biology and genetics, then they're like, oh, I have to write work again. So because I have to write, write work again, I have to write jump again. 
So and even my first jump, I think I got one ninety eight. It wasn't it wasn't too good. Like see a sixteen year old, what did she you know? I, and I was the most serious person you ever met even till now. So that was that. So while processing all these things, I attended these like extra lessons and stuff like that. Then um I did apply to do diploma dash JPEP in Unilag like, to do that pre-degree course, then go into 200 level in you know my desired course of study. So yeah, I did that, it worked out. But yeah, on starting, my father was like there was this strike. I don't know if you guys can remember, there was this strike, major strike. My father was like, no, he can't do with the strike that um I should just wait a little bit, this, 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 this. So yeah, I told him I can't wait, you know. I wrote jam, wrote Wayek again, the results were actually fantastic. A's and B's and for um jam, I think I got like 230 and above. I think. Yeah, there about I can't even remember. So, um, he was like, I have to wait another year. I'm like, no, no, wait for another year. I can't do it. I can't wait for another year. So he was like, he can't afford a private university. Except I wait till I'm old enough to go abroad. I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. So, hmm, I then just like felt bad about it because my mates were already in school they were already doing their thing everybody was already like flying like that little car doing investing big but me i was still doing house girl at home so my mom my mother hmm, people should hold mother start and appreciate them so my mom told of my, one of my uncles about the situation and apparently that my uncle had like a daughter in Babcock and I was like oh she can actually do Babcock I'm like I didn't even know about all this and I was not telling him okay where would she get the money this dad ah, Babcock is so expensive they're paying like a million so she was like don't worry you can pay like instrumentally batch by batch like anytime you have money just pay anytime you have money just pay just pay just pay but just like Use, make use of utilities and things that will last you within your budget. Like I do two meal plans, some people do three meal plans since they can afford it. I stayed in a regular hall till I started staying in like a standard hall. Like a regular hall is not bad. That's where I met amazing people in my life and it's very very fun. So okay, my friends now had money. God bless them. That was able to now afford a you know like two in a room and all that stuff still so yeah then my uncle my mom was like my uncle wants to talk to me that that da, da, he's proud of my results he doesn't want me to stay at home that do i want to go to a private investor i was like private investor how my parents be able to afford this i was like don't worry i shouldn't think about that do i want to guess for me in that second i was like okay maybe this man actually wants to tell me abroad let me know like i was happy <laughs> maybe wants to tell me abroad and I said okay that I should think of the private investor I want to go to between um and Babcock. I was like okay, okay, I'll think about it. So um mind you, resumption was around like August time for my set freshers. This was October, like I was August, September, October. I was like two, three months behind. Two, three months behind in schoolwork. It was I was even thinking that like, even to now when I think about it, how did I do that? How? How? Like pff, that was crazy. Like people had beaten me semester quizzes, had loads, they had attended class, attendance, preparing for exams, and here I am appearing in class. <laughs> no be juju be that. So I told him, okay, Babcock is fine. I was like, okay. Then he paid my fee for that semester. And I was shocked. Like, he pledged the bill for that semester. I was like, uncle, really? He was like, yeah, yeah. You deserve it. Like, your wife, your jam, I'm proud of you. You deserve it. And I was like, wow. Okay. 
then my parents were kind of bothered so my parents squeezed in the little money they had and that's how i found myself here they got me things that i would need i took my old clothes they weren't anything really but yeah so on getting here i was confused i was so lost and when i got here it was like two weeks to exam two weeks there about two weeks and some days to exam and matriculation so like immediately after matriculation was exam it was it was crazy man going from one lecture to the other get your name on attendance try to figure out your shit try to still study get notes read for exams and stuff like that like it was so new to me it was really really it was rough there was a time i actually cried i called my mom i was like i can't do this like it's too brutal it's too ghetto i can't she was like oh you want them to refund your school fee <laughs> so yeah um i didn't make it that semester i had no career bars and that was one thing that i was scared of career bars during summer i like my free time so don't bring some money anyway. So yeah, that was that's basically the story. And um yes, I wish I did did things differently in my first year. I wish I made more friends, but I didn't have the time to actually because everybody had already known each other before I came. Except for Favor, which you saw in the video. Favor and I came almost the same time. But yeah. My story. <laughs> So, I hope you like my story. And if you're fresh and you're watching this, let me know how your experience has been so far in the comment section. Please let me know so I can give you advice. If you need advice, let me know how your experience has been so far. Like, I think it's up to like some days now or a week. Yeah, how has your Sabbath been? Did you enjoy the Sabbath rise? Um, have you met friends? How's your hostel life? How far your registration? Let me know. So that's basically what happened and um, I wouldn't have had it any other way and um, I'm grateful actually and so far so good, it's been nice, Babcock has taught me a lot of lessons, good, bad, um, it has made me grow, it has formed me, the people, the um, society, because it's kind of like, yes, the people, the rules, the terms and conditions, whatever you want to call it. Yes, so um, it has made me more outspoken, puts me in scenarios where I never imagined I'd actually be in. Yeah, so it's just be worth it at the end of the day. So um, that will be all for this video. I hope you like it actually. <laughs> so let me know, like, comment, and subscribe. Share your own story. I beg, I don't talk about before. Share your own story. Let me know what's going on with you guys. So, yes, um. Please support this video if you still see me on the road on the streets of Babcock or in Lagos. You know what to do. Come on, miss me. Let me give you a big hug. I like giving hugs actually. So yeah. Um, have a blessed day. Like, have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me. And thank you. A hundred and fifty plus subscribers and counting. Thank you so much, guys. Like the love shown on my videos like when did i start <laughs> thank you guys so much i really really appreciate it i do not take this for granted honestly please interact with me on the comment section so that i can show my love to each and every one of you guys thank you so much i really really appreciate it i love you never forget that i love you like i'm here to share love actually thank you so much have a blessed day Mwah.